The stunned disclosure of a claimed Iranian base in Syria, near the Israeli fringe, holding up to 80,000 warriors has debilitated to drive the world more like a flare-up of contention, as indicated by master analysts on the BBC. The Israeli envoy to the UN uncovered not long ago a photograph of an affirmed Iranian base close to Damascus, holding up to 80,000 contenders. Accordingly, Israel demanded the nation would dispatch a military strike to keep Tehran from propelling a ground intrusion over the close-by fringe. Diplomat Dan Eden displayed the ethereal photo on Thursday, telling the UN Security Council, there are more than 80,000 fanatics from everywhere throughout the Middle East who are individuals from Shia local armies in Syria under Iranian control. It is at this base, a little more than five miles from Damascus, where these unsafe fanatics are prepared and after that doled out their missions of dread all through Syria and the area. In a stunning danger to the Tehran administration, the minister included, Israel has an unmistakable approach. We won't permit administrations that look for our pulverization to obtain atomic weapons. Talking on the BBC board demonstrate dateline, Alex Dean, a British conservative pundit, asserted an Iranian ground intrusion couldn't be discounted. He stated, 80,000 so far isn't a little move, that a huge number of troops. Individuals don't need the Iranian administration to be the following North Korea, enabled by atomic capacities to fortify itself and stop customary mediation with atomic countering. Prior in the show, Agnes Poirier, from French supporter Marianne, included, Syria is turning into a kind of Lebanon. Iran is utilizing Syria to wait Israel. There are 80,000 Iranian powers scattered around Syria, and Israel is legitimately concerned. Iran is endeavoring to control Damascus as much as Beirut. There are growing pressures between Western forces and Iran, in front of 12th May due date set by U.S. President Donald Trump, who has undermined to haul out of the Iranian atomic arrangement. Mr. Trump has promised to never give Iran a chance to have atomic weapons, however declined to state on the off chance that he would consider military power. Diplomat Din's declaration at the UN takes after the 9th April assault on Syria's T-4 air base, which slaughtered seven individuals from the Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps, including the leader of its automaton program, Mehdi Degan. Iran, Syria, Russia and some U.S. authorities have all said Israel was in charge of the strike yet Israeli authorities have declined to remark on the issue. Israeli authorities have already expressed that they won't enable Iran to dig in itself in Syria, taking note of it as a red line for military activity. Prior this week, Israel's protection serve Avigdor Lieberman concurred that his nation will strike Tehran if assaulted by Iran. He stated, We hear numerous Iranian dangers yet in the event that they assault Tel Aviv, we will strike Tehran.